absolute value equations. For an equation, the absolute value of x equals a. So I'm just going to show that I split it up, as you guys saw. Here's the nice thing, though, is when we see something like this down here, where the absolute value of something equals the absolute value of something else, we just, again, we're just splitting it up into two, where one answer is negative and one, and one is positive. Of course, x or y in that case may be some kind of expression, which isn't a big deal, because once we split it up, then we're just solving an equation for x. Well, what about the absolute value of x equals negative a? It can't ever be a negative. So this one, it's a false, I guess, or no solution. Yeah, let me, let me expound on that just a little bit more. Let me get rid of this first. So if I saw something like this, absolute value of x equals the absolute value of y, I would split this up into two equations. One, I've got x equals y. And the other one would be x equals negative y. And then I would solve the equation for the unknown. Right? It's, it's likely you're going to see y as an expression. So, right, if y was 2x minus 4, then this one would be a negative 2x minus 4, which just means we're changing the signs on both of those terms.